Cake-wise and dessert-wise, March is a really busy time for me. It's my birthday, my dad's birthday, and my niece's birthday, all in a span of two weeks. I really like working on the cakes and desserts for my niece because it's usually some sort of fun theme and there's always a big party so I know it's actually going to get eaten. And then I always like to try out something a little bit different for my birthday and since it's for me, I know I can't mess it up. Now I wouldn't say I don't enjoy creating the desserts for my dad, but it is a lot trickier and I really have to think because there are so many restrictions. I'm primarily a cake and cookie decorator, so really coming up with a bunch of new recipes isn't my forte, although I do do it from time to time. And I like to delve into things like French pastries. But my dad really doesn't like it when cakes are too sweet, fondant is obviously a no-go, buttercream isn't really his first choice, and he's also lactose intolerant so I can't go for a whipped cream or a mousse. He also doesn't like chocolate, caramel, coffee or tea flavored things, my sister is afraid of fruit so I can't add that but this coconut whipped cream came to the rescue.